What if you're invited to play a game, but the people who invited you didn't tell you the rules of the game? Not only did they not tell you the rules of the game, they didn't tell you who else was playing the game. And not only did they not tell you who else was playing the game, they also didn't tell you when the game would start and when the game would finish. That's the game that's going on in organizations across the world today. People are employed and they're given tasks to do, but they often find that that's not their whole role. They also have to do other jobs that's not written down. And then there are performance management systems in place, which are supposed to provide employees with feedback about how well they're doing their jobs. And oftentimes, incentives and rewards are tied in to these performance management systems. However, within these systems, there's rarely transparency, there's rarely clarity, and there's always a lot of game playing. Performance management is supposed to be a constant and ongoing activity that helps employees improve and or maintain their performance in order to achieve organizational goals. Despite the formal procedures and processes in place to facilitate performance management of employees, frontline managers seem to struggle with the application of it due to the lack of experience and authority, impacting the organization's overall performance. And despite the intrinsic role that frontline managers play in motivating employees to perform, they often tend to be neglected in research. So by looking into two public sector organizations in Singapore for my thesis, I attempted to understand the role of frontline managers in performance management systems through the use of semi-structured interviews with 57 participants, as well as HR documents. I found that frontline managers are constrained by various factors that deviate from the rules of the game or what formal policy dictates. And this is further worsened or emphasized by the lack of consistency, transparency, and communication with their superiors. How well frontline managers are able to manage the performance of their staff depend on the ability, motivation, and opportunity that they have to perform. Ability relates to the skills that frontline managers have to have to be able to handle their performance management responsibilities. This includes the innate capabilities that they already possess and can be picked up through on the job or formal training. Motivation relates to the inclination of reciprocity that frontline managers have to approach performance management. And lastly, opportunity relates to the empowerment that's given to frontline managers through flexibility or the culture of the organization to be able to manage the performance of their staff. What I've concluded is that performance management is little more than a game that most people are trying to maneuver their way through without actually knowing the rules. And how well they perform in this game is largely dependent on the ability, motivation, and opportunity that they have to play. Sure.